people of the internet. So today we are going to be making a very simple recipe. I think it's not even a recipe, it's a product. We are making a product. Eh? Today we are going to be making cheese. You can go to the supermarket and you can see the prices of cheese. It's high. So today we are going to be making cheese for a very affordable price. Which is, I'm using one liter of milk, any white vinegar that you have, and salt to taste. It's not a must. I already put my milk in the sufria, so let's heat it. You are supposed to put your heat to the low side, medium low. It should not boil, you should not use high heat, so it should be on the low side. And should just allow the milk to just boil slowly, but you don't want it to boil. You want it to have a high heat where you put your finger in it, you feel it's burning. Yeah, that point. So we are going to just stir it. And one thing that I have forgotten to tell you, you should use raw milk, not pasteurized milk, not boiled milk. You use raw milk. It's been about five minutes. Let's test the temperature by just inserting your finger. Yes, it's hot. So the next thing we are going to add, I had measured three tablespoons of vinegar. We just add it. continue stirring slowly you can already see you can see so let's cover it up for two minutes next thing you're going to do we want to remove our cards yes I've taken the cards out of the way. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to hit this way. We want it to be hot. You place back your cheese. And you take it, make sure you don't get burnt. And press it. <laughs> you can already see the consistency. Place it back the second time. At this point, it's where you add your salt for taste. This is the last time. You can see it's stretching. It's stretching. You can see. Remove all the whey from your cheese. Mm. 
So take your cheese and place it in ice cold water for about two minutes. It's been two minutes. Take your cheese out of the milk. It will be feeling more firm. Then wrap it in your cling film. And preserve it in the fridge for when you are going to be using it. As you say, learning is a process. So these are the things that you have learned while making this cheese. Number one, do not refrigerate your milk. <laughs> do not refrigerate your milk. Actually, when you refrigerate your milk, it reduces the amount of cheese, like by half. Because normally I don't refrigerate my milk, so I just refrigerated it so that I can come and show you people. Hmm? The things you do for YouTube. So, don't refrigerate your milk. It reduces your cheese like by half. Number two, the second thing that you have learned by making cheese, when you increase the amount of milk, the amount of cheese increases. So, I prefer, actually, I use like two liters most of the time. And uh, it gives me actually a larger quantity of cheese. So increase the amount of cheese around two to three liters of milk. Yeah. So if you use two liters, you're going to use like six tablespoons of vinegar. If you use three liters, a eh, ratio and proportion. So one liter is equals to three tablespoons. What about three liters? nine tablespoons this is where the mathematics skills kick in so thank you for watching this video i'm very excited because i also learn new things and i make these videos for you things that you have never been told by anybody but you just learn through the process it's the process making so thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time bye